Ladies and gentlemen, this week is totally awesome. We not only get the Northern Traveler set, but with the set there comes one of the most game-breaking glitches in the entire game. That is so awesome, I just can't describe it. I mean, the build yesterday was so awesome, it was so up, using that ability, being able to refill it just with two kills. But what is better than that, than refilling it with two kills if it works every time, guys? We will definitely come to that later in the video, but first of all, if you haven't gotten the Northern Traveler set, you can get it when you access your Helix store, then you can simply claim it. It's an Ubisoft Club reward, so it's totally free, giving you probably the best legendary set, the best legendary set bonus, and probably the best legendary glitch in the entire game. What you see here the whole time playing is a new killer build, the best build possible in the game, and that is thousand times better than what you saw yesterday. I will do that build right after this video, maybe tomorrow, maybe on Monday. That is so incredible and it is definitely the best build ever made. As you know there are two legendary gravings coming with this set. The first one is the degraded 15% cooldown duration for Battlecry and Aris Madness. You can engrave that actually on any piece of epic gear and make a complete build with that. But guys this is so fundamentally broken because it is not 15% even when you use the degraded 15% it simply acts like it is 50% every time. You can perfectly see that in this scene here in slow time we use Ring of Chaos we make exactly two kills and the Aris Madness is completely refilled only with two kills from the Ring of Chaos. And you can do that again and again. It's just two simple kills, two animal kills, two civilian kills, two whatever kills. You can use the 50% on any epic gear. That is insane. They just forgot to downgrade it. It claims it is 15% but in fact it is still 50%. Two kills complete refill even on epic gear. Guys, this is so broken, I can't believe it. They, if they did that on accident or on purpose, I don't know. Maybe they want to keep us interested in the game. But this is crazily broken. You can make a so awesome set with Epic Gear now, when it also uses 50% cooldown. So watch out for the RS God Mod build that is definitely coming in the next days. That will be super awesome and super up and fun to use. I also took a closer look to the other engraving, the 50% damage increase with Battlecry of Aris and Aris Madness. If you want to know how that's working and if it is good, then stay tuned and also check it out. In the description of the Battlecry of Aris ability, you see that there's a 50% damage increase when you activate Battlecry. But that's not a multiplier, it is only a stackable bonus. So without Battlecry, the normal damage is around 393,000 damage when we attack from behind. When we activate Battlecry without the engraving, it is 475,000. And when we additionally use the engraving, it is 550,000 damage. So it is not a 50% damage increase, it is a 50% base damage increase. And in this specific build, that results in a 20% damage increase overall. So everything the engraving does it, it adds another 50% to your base warrior damage. Nothing more than that. It's not a multiplier, it's just an additive bonus. When we examine the same here for Aris Madness with the activation damage, we have 10.8 million damage from behind and the normal attacks is like 2.1 million from behind. And when we also use the damage increase here, then we will have 11.5 million with the activation damage and around 2.25 million damage. So that's only an increase that varies between 5 and 7%. And that has a reason, because the Aris Madness ability only uses 35% assassin damage. So the 50% damage increase is a 50% assassin damage increase. But the ability uses only 35% of that and 35% from 50% is only 17%. So you get only a 17.5% increase from the RS Madness when you use the 50% damage increase for RS Madness. So it's really not worth using. The difference is really small. It's rather useful for Battlecry but also not so much. So this engraving is just as bad as all the other ability damage increases. It is not really useful and it should not be used. There are much better engravings like armor penetration, the fox, the damage conversion etc which you should rather use than this one. I hope you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like and see you next time.